Welcome back. Stasis 23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And today, uh, I want to show, I've been using this blade ever since I got it, uh, off and on pretty much every single day. If it didn't start in my pocket, it, uh, ended up finishing in my pocket. And I've cut, at this point, I've probably cut at least 300, uh, slices of cardboard, just your regular standard cardboard. And, uh, this D2 steel so far has, um, been holding up pretty nice uh this is basically like an update video and let's show some real world tests like hey honey what's that you got an envelope hold on let me open it for you we all know this huh let's see let's see how good of, oh let's see how good of a uh uh letter opener this thing is Ooh, look at that it hasn't been sharpened at all since i got it oh wait a minute honey that probably has sensitive information on it that I don't want anybody to see. Let me be the paper shredder. Oh, woo! Making a mess, making a mess. The wife's out of town and I'm making a mess. Yeah, yeah. Gotta make a mess while the wife's out of town. Yeah, yeah. Let's make that big old, woo! Yeah, we got a mess. Oh, let's make sure I don't have any sensitive information up there. And, um, uh, wait, baby. Are you done with that cereal box? That's way too big to put in the trash can. I think we need to break it down. I don't know about you guys, but it's probably some of my favorite stuff to do. Ooh, it glides through there like butter. Butter, 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 butter. I've been wanting to do some testing videos and it's kind of hard to do without a cameraman because I'm constantly having to check, make sure I'm in frame. But I figured, hey, let's give it a shot. Let's check this out. It's it it's got a really nice thin grind. Uh, you know, it's got it's got some beefiness to the blade stock, but rather thin with that at high hollow, and it, it slices cardboard very very well. At the end of this testing, we'll see what the sharpness is like. I'm sorry, I forgot to do it before. My bad. But we're gonna we're gonna cut up some stuff, make a huge mess. Like I said, the wife ain't here, so I'm gonna make a mess. Yeah yeah. Let's finish cutting up this box. We're going to cut up, you know, all the normal stuff that, you know, us knife heads would cut up on a daily basis. Like I said, I don't know about y'all, but this box is too big to fit in my trash can. So, what do I have to do with it? i got to cut it up. Wife looks at me like, I'm a fool. But, hey, I'm a knife fool. Just like you guys. Wait, wait. Wait, honey. Did you, did you just finish eating bagel bites? That box is also too big to put in the trash can. We have to break it down. You know, at the, uh, you know, $70 price point for the G10 and $80 price point for the uh, D2, so far, I'm rather impressed. There, I'll, I'll show you, there's, there's a hot spot for me on the handle that it's not really bad and you know if it's that much of a problem and you're doing some heavy cardboard cutting or whatever you're cutting you can always throw on a pair of gloves but if this kind of stuff interests you and y'all like these videos please let me know because this is if y'all don't like it i ain't gonna be doing it but i i enjoy doing this kind of stuff and i'm outside so sorry about the dogs in the background they don't like me cutting up all this stuff let's see what else oh wait wait you just finished drinking your coke Let's, let's see if we can kind of, you, you can't put this in the trash can. That's way too much space. Yep, the dog thinks I need to cut it up too. Y'all heard him in the background? Let's see if I can do this without chopping my hand off. Yep, you hear him? He said, cut that up, cut that bottle up. So, we're going to see how it handles this bottle. That, that, nice, that nice point right there does a good job of piercing. I know, I'm cutting it up. You hear him? He's like, cut it up, cut it up. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing what the dog asked me to do. Sorry if I'm not on frame some of these times. Like I said, I have to keep looking over. So I guess it made short work of this, this bottle. Let's see. Let's finish chopping it up. Chop, chop, chopping it up. Well, that was, that was kind of boring. Let's see. Earlier, I did some little feather sticking. It did a really good job. Look at those nice fine curls. Let's see if I can do it behind the camera. Let's see. Yeah, see, look, it gets some nice, nice fine, nice fine curls. Definitely not the easiest thing to do behind the camera there, people, but hey, 
I do it for you guys. I do it for you guys. Not to mention, I love it. Love doing this kind of stuff. Am I the only person who likes to do this kind of stuff? Let me know down in the comment section below whether you guys do silly stuff like this. You know, uh, the, like I said, the wife looks at me like I'm crazy. But hey, I don't care because I enjoy doing it. Look at those nice chunks. Uh, the choil is not the biggest choil in the world. It's usable, but you definitely got to be careful because it's sharp right up here. So be careful. Uh, if you need some nice controlled cuts, you know, it can be done. Let's see. Uh, it's a lot easier to do this uh, without being over a camera like this. But definitely, definitely nice and sharp. Nice and thin grind. You know, I love the fact that you know, you got this beefy folder that is not just a beefy paperweight. I love how they they ground it, you know, not too thin to where, you know, you got to worry about, you know, chipping out a big chunk of the blade and, you know, not, not so thick to where you can't use the thing. I mean, I like to use my knives and I don't know about you guys, but Sometimes it's just some people just buy them just for tool as a tool and this seems to be a pretty good tool for the price Let's see what else we got um, We got some banding uh, Just got some tile in I got to get this banding off of that. No, don't use a pair of scissors. Why cuz I got my knife, huh? I mean really I mean What's the point of having a pair of scissors when you got a sharp knife? Oh, that was my fault glides through that stuff I'm interested to see how this edge is, is going to hold up after all this use. Like I said, I think I cut up around 300 uh, slices of regular cardboard, like uh, Amazon boxes. This is zip tie. Nice and thick zip tie. Let's see how it does with this. Oh, let's see. I kind of slid off of it. Yeah, it went through it. I was trying to be careful. I definitely, definitely, definitely don't want to cut myself. Definitely don't need any new scars, if you know what I mean. I got enough of those on my body. Let's see. Let's try this one more time. Yep. Went through that. Pretty nice. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Can you cut this rope off of my bicycle? Oh, uh, what? This rope? Let's see. I might be able to do that for you. Oh, yeah, sure. Wait, honey. Let's cut that double knot out. The dog, look, you heard him. He said, do it. Do it. No problem whatsoever. But daddy, there's a bigger, bigger, thicker piece of rope on the back of my bicycle. Cut this. Oh, let me see if my knife can do it. Oh, what? Oh, you need me to cut it again? I think I can handle that for you. And I can make a mess while I'm doing it. Glides through that, no problem. Let's see, what else? What else we might we have? Uh, honey, uh, there's this, uh, this stretchy rubber band stuff. Um, I don't know where it came from, but I need you to cut it for me. Why, well, sure, darling. Boy, I cut through that. Look, and that's some nice thick. It's actually banding for um, insulators at uh, for like um, chemical plant op operator stuff. They they use this banding to hold down the insulation. Some thick stuff. And I might have some thicker. There's some thicker banding. Look at all that. That's all rubber, like tight woven rubber bands this is gonna be tough let's see if it can handle the task Rah! Woo, yeah not a problem not a problem for the boker lateralis let's uh let's cut up some cardboard shall we look at that it glides through cardboard i'm not gonna lie uh my favorite cardboard slicing machine is my boker excalibur whoever owns that knife knows what i'm talking about it's got a super thin hollow grind and this one, I would say, is a close second. Uh, easily glide through this. I'm sure I won't have enough cardboard to phase this D2 steel. But we'll see. We'll see if, if, if the heat treats good on it. Uh, um, I, I've noticed in the past uh, on my uh, Enzo, my Scandi ground, Enzo 75 I think it is uh, it's got d2 steel on it 
and with that convex grind I don't know if it's you know common with all of them but the D2 with the convex edge on it uh, leaves that left that edge rather fragile and uh, I have tons of microchips on that blade and I'm, I'm hoping that that won't be the case with the Boker lateralis um, of course the edge is not as thin as a Scandi but uh, it's got a nice thin edge I, I haven't checked it with my calipers but I would think it's probably around the 20 thousands behind the edge I could be wrong but let's see how it fares after doing you know normal day-to-day -day EDC task uh, you know stuff that us knife geeks do and I will tell you right here right here where this um, where they have this milled pocket right here it's kind of sharp and right there it's leaving a hot spot whenever I bear down being that it's really thin right here but like I said, nothing gloves could remedy, and it definitely shouldn't bother you, you know, just doing, uh, breaking down a single box. But I noticed breaking down some thick, thicker cardboard, it definitely left a hot spot. And yes, we are definitely making a mess, but you know what? If you guys and gals like it, let's make a mess. Let's cut up some cardboard, people. Let's have some fun. You can't, you know, for me... I don't get to enjoy being outside that often, so when I get the chance to come test a blade, I'm all on that. You know, I'm, I might be sweating like a, a pig in a blanket right now, but uh, it's, it's, you know, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing my, my work for today. Hopefully I'm putting a smile on some of you guys' faces, guys and girls. And hopefully I'm going to help somebody decide whether they want to buy the Boker Lateralis. Is it for them? You know, this is a, a, a nice blade. Will it live up to the hype? You know, it's got stainless steel frame. A lot of people don't like that. But, you know, they did a good job of milling out the pockets, keeping the weight down for us. And, you know, so far, especially at the price point, I'm, I'm happy with it, you know. I will definitely keep you guys updated along the way if anything changes or we'll see how this edge holds up after cutting up all this stuff. Like I said, but I, I've cut up a good bit of cardboard off of camera and I figured, you know, if I'm going to keep testing this blade, at least I could let y'all along the journey. Got a little bit more cardboard we'll cut up. Then we'll check the edge, you know. I think, it, like, uh... I think this would be, you know, enough for somebody doing their everyday EDC task. You know, nobody's going to, unless you work in a cardboard factory or you package and unpackage stuff every day, I don't think anybody's going to be cutting up this much cardboard on a day-to-day -day basis. So you're, this knife should hold up for you. I can actually feel the blade getting hot from passing through this cardboard. The friction alone heats up that blade. Uh, Let's see. I think I got one more piece. Yeah, I got one more small piece. We'll cut this up. I'm already at 13 minutes. I think we've got enough cutting out of here to get a good idea of how this edge is, is holding up. And I'm, I'm trying to dull it because I, I want to I wanna put my edge on it, but the factory edge was super sharp, so I figured... You know, why not dull it first and test that edge out before, you know, I do any sharpening. I will tell you something that I, that I noticed right away. I live in Louisiana. We got a very, very humid climate. And I had, it in, I had this blade in my pocket the day I got it. And they have like, a, um, I don't know if I better show you, but they have like a, maybe a bead blasted stone wash finish on D2 steel. And I noticed that inside the fuller, I had some spot rusting, surface rusting right here, and then I had some rusting right here that I easily was able to get it off uh, with some flitz polish. But I will tell you, D2, you know, especially with this type of finish, you definitely need to keep it uh, coated with some whatever your, you know, your rust protection is. You definitely need to have it uh, protected. Uh, you know, D2 is close to being a stainless, but 
with like I said with this this finish like I said it looks like a bead blast finish definitely be more prone to rusting say uh, with a high satin finish or something like that let me see if there's anything else I can cut up for you guys let's see maybe I can chop away at some more wood I'm trying to draw this edge it still feels like it's pretty sharp let's see if I can see if I can doll it out if whoever's still watching I, I'm sure I probably lost half of y'all by now, but for whoever's still watching the video, I really appreciate that, guys and girls. Uh, you know, like I said, hopefully I can help somebody decide whether they're going to buy this blade or not. See, choking up on this choil. It really, it, it scares me to choke up on this choil. This choil's rather thin. I mean, rather small. Uh, I don't know what kind of wood this is, but it's, it's pretty hard. It uh, doesn't leave an impression when I put my finger in it. Let's see, I got a stick that I was with, that I was feather sticking a little while ago. Let's see how it how it works on this stick. Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely biting in there really nice. Uh, it's definitely a multi-purpose knife. Uh, I enjoy feather sticking, and as you can see, I I, I thoroughly enjoy making a huge mess. Uh, you know, and if, if you, if you also like doing this type of nonsense foolishness, then, you know, this is a good tool for the job. All right. I don't know about y'all, but, uh, I'm pretty close to wanting to see what this edge is like. Let me cut this, this rope was saying, cut me, cut me. So I couldn't, couldn't leave it all by itself. Oh, almost got all the way through it. Uh, the handle's a little slick. Um, if, if you sweat a lot, you may want to go with the G10 variant because I uh, noticed even though you got this nice generous choil, it's still kind of slick in the hands. I definitely wasn't scared that it was going to slip out of my hands or slide forward, but my hand was sliding up and down, creating that hot spot right here, like I said, here when I'm bearing down like that. Choking up is just the same. Like I said, you got this thin handle right here that, that creates a sharp spot in the hand. But... Let's check the sharpness. Now, this paper is now damp because of our nice humid climate. And as you can see, I have um, tape residue on the edge. Let me see if I can feel any, any kind of micro chipping or anything. Oh, the edge feels, feels good. Absolutely no chipping whatsoever. Great, great sign. Let's see if it's still sharp. Ooh, paper's wet. Man, oh man. And it's not going to cut the paper because it's wet. So let's see if I can find a piece in here. This stuff's not wet so far, I guess. Ah, it is wet. Uh, they got to be a dry piece somewhere. Oh, come on. Let's see if this, this is dry enough to do the job. If not, guys and girls, I'm sorry, but I tried. Yeah, it's not razor sharp, but uh, definitely still a working edge on there. Now, definitely give me um, a reason to sharpen the blade. You can definitely see it's it's still sharp enough. You know, it's still sharp enough to cut up all this stuff probably over and over again. That's the Boker Lateralis update. Hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know if y'all do, cause uh, I definitely want to do more of this if y'all like this kind of stuff. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And remember, guys, live every day as if it were your last. Peace.